Okay, so as mentioned, these will be in another box with board and padding in between. Just, these are actually sturdy and uh, the ones my keeper set came in, so that's why I've kept them, even though they look not great, they're actually like perfect and they keep it from like getting messed up. So I'm gonna pause for a sec and pull it out so you can see like where the tears are and whatnot. But same thing with this one. Like you can see that whole edge there. And so anyway, uh, let me go ahead and pull these out and then I'll show you them real detailed. Okay, so first as you can see, they actually do stay closed even with the tears. Just give you a full view around. Um, this one does have two more tears as you'll see though. But well, you can see right there, and then here's the other one. And it's because of the magnetic lid that it still stays closed. It's like a flap here. But again, you can see tear, tear. Oh yeah, sorry, not that edge. This one here. Um, and that basically is because these lids are not well done at all. Put it here. Okay. So that's the one downside. Um, the figure, as I said, is perfect all the way through. So this part does have some marring on it from, I'm assuming the lid, after the lid is separated because it was moving about freely originally. And a little look there because I did check her and make sure she was good the all the items on the second and third tiers here I did not unpack because it is quite involved but I did check them um, just in so far as separating and making sure it was there but like I said I didn't do the assembly part of that and then let me show you the other okay so this one and that's really, I believe, the only tear on this one. Um, and you can see a little bit of stress there because, again, it's just, there's literally no support, as you can see. So, like, if I were to let it just flop back, like, unchecked, that would probably be enough to damage it. Um, so I do need to hold it in place or have something underneath to support it. I'm going to rotate it here. Okay, I just rotated it so I could rest it on top of the other box. And so once again, you can see with her, um, and in her case, um, everything's like pretty close to perfect. Otherwise, the this part here is like way better. And you can see more clearly the objects in here and whatnot. And again, it's, if you look further down, it continues into layers two and three. I'll show you my assembled set. That's why I didn't take this out to assemble other than to check. Um, you know, again, you can see split edge all the way down here. So the, the boxes themselves, just, they weren't a good design. And again, this is magnetic. So this part actually does, I think it does separate. Oh no, sorry, it's that flat. So, but yeah, it's, like I said, unfortunately, the boxes themselves are a flawed design, in my opinion, but the figure and everything within is absolutely stellar. And I do know that, like, the person who was considering it earlier in the week, um, I think they just ended up buying new or not buying because they had been going the super buy route. Uh, which is Chinese proxy, and I think he said it was, I know it came to 600 total for him. It was like, I'm trying to remember, it came to 550 after shipping plus 10% tax, which is how it came to the 600, but I think the raw price before shipping was something like 
375 to 400 something in that ballpark and then it was like a 150 shipping or something so that's so basically the new price would apparently be six for the pair including shipping and whatever else through super buy oh the proxy fee that's the other 10 percent all right so anyway uh let me pause and i'll show you the assembled one that i have on display that i'm sure you've seen Okay, and so these are them in their assembled form. I'll try more light, but we'll see. That may make it harder to see. Um, that looks all right with low. So and that's no extra light. So we'll try low like that, but just gonna give you a real good look all the way around. And it's cool how they actually did an actual mirror. I just think that really works well with the aesthetic there. And then this is 22 on the left here. The other one's 33. And you may remember, as I said, the uh, they actually tied parts of the branch into the custom remark on here. I'm kind of going down that part. So that's why I have it displayed right there. Yep, let me uh, go ahead and get this uploaded so you can look it over real well.